ओके गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू सो लेट इज स्टार्ट आवर यूनिट नंबर टू ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एंड स्टैपिंग सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड आवर यूनिट नंबर वन एंड सम फंक्शंस वी हैव सीन फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर वन रिलेटेड टू मैनेजमेंट राइट सो दिस ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एंड स्टैपिंग इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ मैनेजर राइट सो लेट एस सी सिलेबस सो दिस चैप्टर is having two part one is organizing and second one is a stopping okay so in organizing part we have to see nature and purpose of organizing nature and purpose of organizing like we have seen nature and purpose of management in previous chapter so same thing we have to see here nature and purpose of organizing or characteristics of organizing and we we understood the meaning of organizing so uh, distributing start grouping the task right uh, assigning the duties is nothing but organizing so its nature and purpose uh, we have to see today then uh, second part is the purpose of organizing why organizing is important that important significance we have to see the next bit is organization structure so every organization has a certain structure right uh, from uh, ma uh, this management or uh, below that you can say ceo as a man uh, general manager assistant manager managers like that engineer helper labor so every organization has certain structure right so uh, in our college also we have structure like uh, principal uh, deans hods right first uh, class teacher then uh, you can say proctor teacher so like this structure is there so every organization has a certain structure right so that also we have to see uh, its uh, significance also we have to see the next bit uh, in organizing is span and level so span and level is very interesting thing especially in organization structure there are various types of uh, structures we have to see uh, span is nothing but odd levels means uh, nothing but odd exactly that we have to see the next bit it is a departmentation name itself is telling departmentation is nothing but uh, dividing the work into various department so our in our college also you can see various departments are there right mechanical civil electrical uh, computer so like that various departments just a minute okay so uh, here is here also uh, in industry various departments like production department is there uh, then you can say design department r and d department right hr department uh, even store these are the various departments right so for uh, simplicity of work uh, this is made so we have to see uh, how many departments are there in organization right so we have to discuss their uh, significance its uh, detail then authority delegation is the very important aspect in industry because uh, at, so certain authorities can be delegated delegated means uh, transport to others so that is nothing but the authority delegation so we have to see uh, how authority is delegated means uh, see one manager one owner cannot do everything so he has to give certain authority to uh, some of the manager some of the uh, people from the organization and he has to get the work done right so authority delegation is very important I, I, this is uh, generally in a big organization it is very very essential uh, without authority delegation work cannot be uh, getting done from the workers so this is very important point that we have to discuss and last bit from the organizing part is decentralization डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन म्हणजे काय एखादं काम दिल्यानंतर ते सगळ्यामध्ये खाली खाली पास करत जायचं स्पेशली ऑथॉरिटी कॅन डू दिस अँड सर्टन ऑथॉरिटी कॅन बी गिव्हन फॉर दॅट पर्टिक्युलर टास्क सो दॅट डिसेंट्रलायझेशन टाईप्स वी हॅव टू सी अँड समटाइम पीपल फील लाईक ऑथॉरिटी डिलिगेशन अँड डिसेंट्रलाइज लुक सेम बट देर इज अ स्पेसिफिक डिफरन्स दॅट ऑल्सो वी हॅव टू सी इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर पार्ट ओके सो दिस इज अ फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ unit number 
and it need uh, two three hours to complete total six hour necessary to complete this particular chapter and uh, stopping need three hours so in stopping uh, we understood the stopping is nothing but uh, uh, its function of manager right where manager choose the right person for right job so stopping is nothing but the choosing right person for right job or sometimes people take meaning it as recruiting the people for the certain tasks so that stopping is there so its definition again we have to see we have seen just function but here exactly what is a stopping its activities we have to see so stopping definition we have to see then human resource management uh, is the one important part that we have to see then selection uh, process in uh, uh, recruiting the recruiting selection process that also we have to see generally people knows uh, hr comes to our college they uh, take the interview and they recruit they give offer letter you join so this is the thing general lies we know but uh, in depth what exactly uh, background behind that right before coming hr here they have certain tasks right so they have certain activities they perform and then they come here and they recruit you so that selection procedure oh, we don't know what is happening before hr comes to recruit that we have also we have to see then training and development uh, that point also we have to see because it is a function uh, under the staffing so training the employee developing the employee and uh, very important point uh, performance appraisal already we seen in uh, entrepreneurship development what is a performance appraisal so what exactly points they consider while uh, pricing the employees so for getting uh, uh, a promotion or getting uh, increment in salaries performance appraiser plays very important role but how they do uh, that we have to see because it's role of uh, manager under the staffing function right so this much syllabus is there in unit number 2 uh, very interesting and uh, very practical oriented you can say this unit is uh, then uh, you can refer the books essentials of management for this chapter also be because uh, most of the points of organizing and staffing is covered in this particular book so you can refer this and remaining two books principles of management and administration uh, this is also you can uh, refer but uh, not that much uh, helpful but uh, essentials of management is very very helpful for this particular unit you can note it uh then uh, this uh, previous unit study material is already there uh, friends you can see uh, study material of unit number 1 in study material uh, after completing the unit uh, particular unit we are keeping the syllabus uh, or study material of that particular unit in a study material including uh, mcq answers of that particular unit okay so uh, th this is about the syllabus uh, certain assignment questions uh, which are asked in previous examination that uh, we'll see and then we'll proceed to our uh, about title of chapter importance and center idea that we'll discuss uh, friends uh, first uh, question is there what are the types of organization structure explain anyone with all details so uh, there are or there are certain types of organization structure that we are going to see today and uh, uh, you have to explain anyone in detail okay so you should be prepared for all but in exam they have asked in this way uh, out of four types you have to explain one so say one market mark weightage will be there so you have to write uh, four types you have to uh, write and uh, you have to explain any one you have to choose which is uh, good for you with the help of uh, charts organizational chart you have to explain it so eight mark question then another question is uh, differentiate compare between narrow span and wide span so there are two types of spans narrow and wide span you have to compare uh, its uh, or you have to differentiate what exactly difference is there with the help of uh, here block diagram also so this question is asked for four marks only so you can write uh, seven to eight uh, differences for four marks then next uh, explain the elements of for performance appraisal for uh, appraising the employee's performance uh, certain elements needs to be considered that you have to explain okay and uh, next part in this question what are the various methods of training manager so uh, for um, training the manager there is a certain procedure uh, we need to follow okay Th that you have to explain 
the next question is there illustrate the authority delegation and decentralization so sometime they have asked like uh, differentiate between authority delegation and decentralization both th things are almost similar but there are certain difference uh, differences so i have added only one question you can explain both the other, uh, what is the meaning of authority delegation and decentralization and uh, if you able to explain these two thing yeah difference uh, dip mentioning difference will be very easy for you the next question is explain the selection process for recruiting the trainee engineer in company so we know have part uh, but before coming uh, hr comes here there is a certain procedure you have to explain both the procedures okay pre placement uh, post placement also so these are the five questions for assignment you can uh, note and for ic also uh, questions will be uh, from this uh, five mcqs uh, friends uh, let us start our discussion on uh, title of chapter as uh, you uh, know organizing and staffing is a function of manager okay so nobody else do this organizing and staffing uh, function without the manager so manager is having this function he has to do okay so what is the uh, organizing that concept we have seen organizing is nothing but to assign duties grouping the task establishing authority and alerting the resources to uh, resources required to carry out the specific plan is nothing but organizing organizing means what giving the duties assigning the duties grouping the task if, if you have so many uh, tasks or big task you have to group small small task and you have to assign that particular task to a group of people establishing authority means uh, finding the leader for certain task finding one leader and uh, giving that particular task to that particular group allocating and allocating resources means uh, if you need computer machinery tools raw material such, a, such a resources uh, allocating to that particular leader or particular group and for, for what purpose it is done for uh, carrying out the specific plan so this activity is organizing tar marathi madhe ek chan udaharan ahe mala sangala avadta nahi कारण फंक्शन्स ऑफ मैनेजर अपल घर एखाद फंक्शन हेज खूब जवर च रिनेशन है एक दोन मिनट संगत इफ दे सुरुआती प्लैनिंग करते बरबर अपन बगित मगस चैप्टर मे प्लैनिंग लग्न घर मधे उ अपने नातेवाईक बरबर बहनीच भावाचे तो प्लैनिंग कर दो पहले चैप्टर मध्य बगित तेजनतर पुढ़ टास्क का ऑर्गनाइजिंग टास्क आते घर फंक्शन मे सुधा का करते अपन ऑर्गनाइजिंग हे अपन काम वाटन देते अंकल ये काम हा भावाला काम बरबर को मंडपाच काम आल को जेवनाच काम आल बरबर मगर लगने का वस्तु देना तो हे हे जे काम वाटन घेने की पद प्रोसेस है प्लैन प्रमाण तो ऑर्गनाइजिंग मना चाहिए समझते है घर मधल एखाद काम एखाद कार्य है अपन प्लैन कर लग्न उलैनिंग पर्गनाइजिंग काम घर लग्ना मध्य जे काम जेवना च काम रिसेप्शन च काम कि मंडपाच काम बरबर वजंद्रिया काम हे काम वाटन देने ऑर्गनाइजिंग आता मजा मत सर्व लक्ष एनॉलॉजी अगर परफेक्ट मैच होते मैं स्टाफिंग फाइंडिंग द राइट पीपल फॉर राइट जॉब तसच अपने कार्यक्रम में स्टाफिंग पाव लगते सग काम करू शक नहीं तुम्हें अंकल सग केटरिंग काम दल मैं का स्वतः कुकिंग करू शक नहीं बरबर मैं लगते स्टाफिंग कराए लगते करता मग योग्य आचारी बगना बरबर तो योग्य आचारी बगणे स्टाफिंग समझ ल तर मित्रों एनॉलॉजी वरुण लक्ष्य ऑर्गनाइजिंग एंड स्टाफिंग लग्ना मधल एखाद काम जे है वाटन देने वेगवेग अपने घर लोकान बरबर व्यक्ति लक्य नहीं मंडपाला बगण तेजकड़े मंडप बधुन घेन कि डेकोरेशन करो 
मग यासाठी मॅन पॉवर लागेल तर ते ऍक्टिव्हिटी म्हणजे स्टाफिंग सो आय होप यू अंडरस्टूड विथ हेल्प ऑफ दिस अनॉलॉजी व्हॉट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ ऑर्गनायझिंग अँड स्टाफिंग ओके सो दॅट वी हॅव टू डिस्कस इन डिटेल इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर चॅप्टर आपण फंक्शन्स ऑफ मॅनेजरच्या वेळेस पण हे डिटेलमध्ये डिस्कस केलं होतं बट ॲज अ पार्ट ऑफ टायटल ऑफ चॅप्टर वी हॅव डिस्कस्ड ऑर्गनायझिंग अँड स्टाफिंग मीन्स हॉट ओके सो आय होप इन इंडस्ट्री ऑल्सो इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इंडस्ट्रीमध्ये पण रोज फंक्शन्स असतात रोज कार्य करायला त्यांना प्रोडक्शन करणं हे त्यांचं रोजचं काम आहे मग त्यासाठी ऑर्गनायझिंग अँड स्टाफिंग इज इसेन्शियल ओके सो आय होप दिस थिंग फ्रॉम द डिस्कशन ऑफ टायटल ऑफ चॅप्टर देन सेंट्रल आयडिया ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर चॅप्टर फ्रेंड्स पर्टिक्युलर दिस सेकंड युनिट स्टाफिंग अँड ऑर्गनायझिंग इज डील्स विथ ऑर्गनायझेशन स्ट्रक्चर व्हॉट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ ऑर्गनायझेशन स्ट्रक्चर व्हॉट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ डिपार्टमेंटेशन what is meaning of authority delegations decentralization and hrm means human resource management so uh, this chapter is deals with this particular uh, four five points then why uh, this chapter is important for you so friends uh, in uh, the organization grouping the tasks assigning the duties and uh, getting the tasks done is the uh, normal activity every day means organizing is the daily routine you can say and uh, engineer like you will be the manager and for grouping the tasks organizing assigning the duties getting work done from employees is the job of you people getting but you should understand what is the meaning of grouping what is understanding uh, meaning of the assigning the duties what is the meaning of organization structure you should understand right for that purpose this chapter is important for you you join any of the organization organizing is the common task there okay sometime uh, you will get one project but uh, you cannot handle one project alone you need manpower and you have to assign the task you have to uh, group the task so it is your role that's why uh, for you uh, people this chapter is important then uh, this chapter is linked to co number me 422.2 uh its statement is illustrate the concept of organizing staffing leading and controlling so after learning this chapter you will able to illustrate the concept of organizing staffing leading and controlling so leading and controlling you will able to explain after learning the chapter number 3 because its uh, chapter name is a leading and controlling so uh, next coming uh, two chapters are based on functions of manager only so uh, friends let us discuss uh, first bit of this particular unit that is a nature or characteristics of organizing nature or characteristic so in exam our, our syllabus bit is like that nature of organizing so uh, nature of organizing is nothing but characteristics of organizing but before understanding uh, characteristics or nature of organizing you should understand once again what is meaning of organizing let me clear once again in the title of chapter also i have cleared organizing is nothing but assigning the duties assigning the duties means giving the duties grouping the task grouping the task means dividing the task among the people establishing authority establishing authority means uh, uh, appointing the leader for that and allocating resources required to carry out the specific plan allocating resources means giving the certain resources like maybe man money uh, machineries uh, tools whatever required to achieve the specific plan whatever uh, resources required so allocating resources so this activity is the organizing i hope uh, again you uh, get, got the clear idea organizing manje apan veg vegle meaning geto organizing che but here i hope you understood the meaning of exact organizing apan ekadi gosht mix jali te veg veg segregate pan karto tela kai lok organizing mantat ha hi te organizing cha artha kay artha nikto ekadi gosht mix jale suppose don tin goshti ekam ekat mix jale tar apan te segregate veg veg karayla tela apan apan mato organize karun the vyavasthit kiwa systematic karun the vyavasthit ya goshti sathi organizing shabd vaparla jato but in industry organizing uh, meaning is in this way assigning duties you, you can remember this four thing assigning duties grouping the task establishing authority and allocating resources that activity is nothing but 
organizing i hope you you understood now now let us discuss uh, nature and characteristics of organizing so first characteristic is their common objective every organization has common goal organizing is done to achieve it friends remember every organization uh, is having goal vision right without that uh, no one organization will run without vision or without goal uh, no of the uh, none of the organization will run so and that goal is always common it is not like that uh, one manager is having different goal another manager is having different goal suppose uh, hr manager and production manager goal is same right whatever order you got you have to produce that many orders and you have to dispatch even hr manager recruit the people and production manager do actual ma fabrication manufacturing of product still goal is same why hr manager recruiting the people he want to support that particular production person to uh, have common goal to produce so and so component or so and so uh, assemblies or uh, so and so um, you can say vehicles getting so in organizing if you are not having common objective then is it audible now can you hear me okay okay so in between uh, voice was not there okay thank you okay so let us start once again okay so i think uh, we were discussing about the common objective so in organizing aple lagna madhe sudha ghara madhe lagna aslyanantar pratyekacha ekach objective asta ka pratyekacha vegla aste karyakram changla jhala pahije right ekach objective sarvanch an tyasathi sarvajan dharpad karat asta so in organizing common objective plays very very important role and organizing is for that only Uh, next characteristic or nature of the organizing is a grouping task according to the nature of people now uh, as we know group, uh, organizing includes the grouping of task now how to group very uh, can you assign the work to anybody randomly definitely no while assigning the task habits and nature of the people should be considered you should not give the task randomly to any of the people design person you need you are giving who is expert in the production a wrong uh, grouping task right so while grouping the task you have to give that particular task to particular person who is expert in that you have to understand how, what is the habit of that particular person uh, nature of that particular person right so you have to understand who is the person so while grouping uh, this task you have to consider this whom you are uh, uh, grouping uh, whom you are allocating while uh, grouping that you have to understand then proper authority structure or defining hierarchy in uh, while after appo appointing the ta giving the task appointing the people for uh, taking the follow up of it you should have proper authority Th there should be leader right some reporting person must be there or somebody should be there to keep watch or uh, supervise that activity for that purpose you should have proper authority structure for it getting 
so uh, hierarchy must be defined properly who is having uh, good experience who is having higher uh, higher year uh, more years of experience then uh, that must be uh, that person must be at the top level in the hierarchy then below him with less experience getting let it be age is not matter in industry remember i am talking about the experience how much experience he is having in that particular field getting so uh, this is also important hierarchy is also characteristic of organizing the next one is that division of labor and assignment of the job so labor division uh, dividing the labor and uh, as assigning that particular job to that particular labor is the very important suppose you have uh, 100 uh, labor along with you you have certain managers or uh, leaders with you so division of labor is very important suppose you have labor uh, who is having uh, some uh, skilled labor semi skilled labor right so who is having a skill uh, more skills you should appoint at that particular group where skills are required so you have to divide your labor into group proper group why to avoid the wastage of time if any expert uh, labor is there then you have to appoint at the very uh, junior areas where uh, this expert is required so what is the benefit of it you can avoid the wastage of time right then you can uh, uh, avoid the wastage of energy you can uh, avoid the wastage of resources and uh, if you are having certain expertise and if you allocate to certain person then benefits of specialization so person is uh, very expert in a welding his specialization is welding so definitely you should allocate that person to welding field only getting even uh, this is a very uh, common sense but still in industry division of labor uh, is having more weightage so uh, benefit of specialization you will get in this case if you divide the labor into proper way and if you assign the proper job this is one of the characteristic in organizing ata aaple gharamade pan ekhada la vyavasthit manage karta yeto nai ka agdi emergency jevanatli avad vagare ase lagna karyamade mit kashat kami jhale jha jhale ekhada la teji mahiti asel tar apan te त्या घरातल्या त्या अंकलला त्या घरातल्या रिस्पॉन्सिबल व्यक्तीला आपण डेफिनेटली केटरिंग जेवणाची व्यवस्था देऊ बरोबर तर इंडस्ट्रीमध्ये पण असंच आहे सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द बेनिफिट ऑफ स्पेशलायझेशन डिव्हिजन ऑफ लेबर इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट अँड मॅनेजर शुड नो दिस हु इज एक्सपर्ट इन नॉट राईट सो दॅट्स वाय मॅनेजर शुड असेस हु इज बेस्ट पर्सन फॉर ऑट टास्क then communication channel in organizing uh, this is another char- uh, very inter- important characteristic is the communication channel communication channel is nothing but whom to contact and how definitely your labor uh, your employees right uh, if you want to reach to a leader or manager or if there is a, another problem technical problem so whom to contact and how it is very important in industry you cannot this should be the standard operating procedure whom to contact and how it is very important because every employee thousands of employees are there worker laborers are there whom that worker should contact and how maybe through telephone physically through mail through letter right so that communication channel in organizing is the very important characteristic getting uh now next characteristic is a coordination coordination in organizing is very important because it integrates all the functions this is also uh, important characteristic of organizing coordination pahije barobar lagna madhe kiti lok aalele the jevna cha vyakti la jo jevna chi vyavastha bakto tela sangitle pahije aaj evdi lok ithe dista ahet evdi lok aalele ahet man jevna chi tu evdi taiyari kar जास्त आलेत हे वाढव कमी आलेत हे कमी कर बरोबर तर ते थोडस कोऑर्डिनेशन व्हायला हवं गेटिंग सो इन ऑर्गनायझिंग ऑल्सो सेम थिंग सपोज एका इंडस्ट्रीमध्ये येणारा प्रॉडक्ट तुम्हाला ह्या महिन्यात ऑर्डर फारच कमी आहे बरोबर जे ऑर्डर घेतात त्या लोकांनी परचेसवाल्यांना सांगायला पाहिजे ह्या महिन्यामध्ये कमी परचेस करा 
because order is very less purchase very less raw material in this week uh, in this month we have very less orders why you are unnecessarily wasting money coordination paije barobar ani achanak demand vadli if mi je apan kay mhanto achanakach demand vadli ekada product sathi hr department cha kaam hai ऑर्डर वाढली लेबर वाढवा वर्कर्स वाढवा डिझायनर्स वाढवा सो कोऑर्डिनेशन इन ऑर्गनायझिंग कोऑर्डिनेशन इज व्हेरी व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट देन रूल्स अँड रेग्युलेशन अनदर कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक रूल्स अँड रेग्युलेशन फॉर स्मूथ फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द ऑर्गनायझेशन रूल्स अँड रेग्युलेशन मस्ट बी देअर एव्हरीवेअर इवन इन युअर स्टुडंट लाईफ रूल्स आर देअर राईट रेग्युलेशन आर देअर Uh, you should reach in time you should uh, write exam within time right you should uh, fill exam form within time rules are there uh, we are the human so rules and regulations are important and why it is required for smooth functioning in day, day to day life also rules and regulations are important why this is required for smooth functioning nothing else some discipline should be there right so in industry also some rules and regulations are there for smooth functioning of the uh, working in that particular organization smooth functioning means without hurdles work should go so that's why rules and regulation for uh, recruiting the manpower hr department uh, hr person cannot recruit any of the person randomly come and join it is not like that they have certain rules right what role hr department has experience kiti paije kutle skills paije tala salary kiti deychi barobar kiti mahina sathi deychi probation period kay asla paije barobar pf kiti asla paije kiti cut kela paije kiti kutle employee cha kela paije barobar ya asha rules and regulations are there and for smooth functioning it is required in the organization उदाहरणार्थ ऑइलिंग ग्रीसिंग फॉर मशिनरीज रिक्वायर्ड मंथली इयरली सॉरी मंथली वीकली डेली ग्रीसिंग लागणार आहे रेग्युलेशन रूल केलेलं तो ऑर्गनायझेशनमध्ये तर मशीन स्मूथ फंक्शन होईल बरोबर सो रूल्स अँड रेग्युलेशन इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन ऑर्गनायझिंग देन एक्सटर्नल इन्व्हायरमेंट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक while organizing external factors like legal social political factor should be considered because every organization is working in a external environment and uh, people should consider this uh, external factors like legal factor paying tax within time following pollution related norms following uh, following the uh, safety of the uh, employees right so uh, all uh, things related to external environment should be considered while organizing and last uh, characteristic is their accumulation of uh, resources resources uh, involves manpower material machine money technology okay so accumulation of resources as an uh, uh, when required uh, is very important because while organizing kiti resources lagnare he and you have to start accumulating you have to start collecting it okay so these are the characteristics of organizing okay i hope uh, i have made it simplified and you understood the meaning of organizing tar apan je organize shabd vaparto nahi ka function la apan organize manto apan function chan organize hala kadi manto tar he sagle characteristics astil tar okay so i hope uh, you understood uh, this organizing concept in detail i hope uh, there is no any uh, doubt and if it is there you can put in chat box within one minute anything want to uh, contribute anybody no shall we uh, proceed to next point or should we take attendance before proceeding to next bit i think we'll take attendance huh? so put uh, your roll number in chat box okay first
and after putting attendance uh, we'll start a discussion on purpose of organizing why organizing is important that we'll discuss anybody uh, want to ask anything related to organizing again is it okay every everything understood with the help of example with the help of certain characteristics i have tried to explain it okay so anybody anything want to ask okay so if no then uh, we'll proceed at least say yes no proceed no problem okay so let us uh, start uh, purpose of organizing why uh, this organizing should be done chota prashna shuruvatila lagna madhe organizing nasel tar kay hoil aplyala lakshat yeta barobar तसच इंडस्ट्री मध्य होता लग्ना मध्य जेवन व्यवस्थित पुरल नहीं बरबर रॉ मटेरियल लगना पुरल नहीं वी वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट हैपन्स राइट बसा जागा पुरली नहीं है आर सम अनवॉन्टेड थिंग हैपन इन दैट पर्टिक्युलर फंक्शन वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट हैपन्स राइट सो सेम थिंग इज देर सो इन इंडस्ट्री दैट्स वाई ऑर्गनाइजिंग प्लेज व्री इम्पॉर्टंट रोल इन इंडस्ट्री एवरी डे फंक्शन आर देर राइट कंटिन्स ऑपरेशन कंटिन्स प्रोडक्शन कंटिन्स ऑर्डर परचेसिंग एवरी एक्टिविटीज कंटिन्स सो फॉर दैट पर्पज ऑर्गनाइजिंग इज इसेल सो स्टील वील डिस्कस सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज इट हेल्प्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन और कॉर्डिनेशन इफ यू आर हैविंग प्रॉपर ऑर्गनाइजिंग ओके यू हैव डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टास्क यू हैव एलोकेटेड द ड्यूटीज सो फॉर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पर्पज फॉर एवरी मैनेजर it helps right suppose uh, you, uh, one task is assigned to one group and that group is not performing well for first project second project third project so administrative department uh, will take action like so and so group of people group of uh, uh, members are not doing uh, proper work so uh, it helps to take action also from administrative and obviously it helps to coordinate all activities kunala kiti task dile kunala kai resources dile so for coordination purpose this organizing is important then another one is encourage the efficiency can somebody tell me like uh, if proper organizing is there then efficiency is increasing can somebody want to put in chat box or unmute and want to uh, elaborate anybody else it definitely improves the efficiency but how anybody want to tell very simple uh, it improves efficiency as complete utilization of resources simple answer in organizing as you know uh, we are grouping the tasks we are allocating the duties we are allocating resources and utilization of that particular resources happens very nicely very effectively and obviously if you are using man machine manpower everything you are using very efficiently then uh, definitely your efficiency every everything will get improve getting so uh, this is the reason the next one is optimum use of technology and resources resources are, are used optimally how because you have given required resources only or as a manager you grouped the task and you allocated required resources only 10 people if they need 1 liter coolant 10 machinery right 1 liter 2 liter 10 liter upper machinery like that so as you, you know for this 10 machinery 10 liters required so you allocate that only not more than that right so this is the reason that's why uh, people will use optimally and uh, 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 and even technology also same thing is there the next one is that encourage use of human resources 
due to dividing the task among the people as you uh, if there are 10 people group then that people will understand yes we are 10 and up to evening up to tomorrow evening in this week we have to complete this task and then definitely they, they will understand nobody will come to help us it's our responsibility it's our duty as manager allocated to us and every human uh, resource from that particular uh, that uh, group will think we have to complete task within time and assessing also becomes easy so manager will say deadline was one week still this is the second week you have not completed getting so in that case uh, that person that group of people will have pressure and they will try to complete whatever task assigned to them getting so that's why this uh, uh, this task within the time and uh, uh, this uh, human resources will utilize properly then uh, facilitates growth how organizing helps to top level management to focus on further expansion and investment you already allocated tasks resources everything is going well then manager will get time to focus on further things like expansion of the organization because they know uh, we have organized the task every everything is going well okay and uh, later on they will get time for further expansion they will think yes how can i expand the my organization where i can make the investment and in this way uh, his organization will grow getting so this is important uh, part of where uh, which will help to grow the organization because they have distributed tasks properly right and they just uh, ob observe over there and further they are getting time for creativity even expansion investment right the next one is that stimulates the creativity stimulates the creative stimulates manje uttejana creativity la lokanna vel milay lagto kasa bara can somebody tell me how uh, do a proper uh, organizing or uh, you can say uh, excellent organizing helps to stimulate the creativity can somebody want to tell take one minute any guess stimulates the creativity means organizing will improve for a creativity front on creativity front so friends accumulated knowledge helps to create new things so at the beginning we discussed like manager group the task according by looking at the people they understand what is required for that particular group they provide everything and their expertise from that group all experts are there right 10 people from that uh, expert people from that particular group their accumulated knowledge will create new thing and in this way it stimulates the creativity so that's why organizing is important understood everybody so that's why organizing is important anything anybody want to say regarding this have you understood regarding uh, purpose and nature of organizing shall you proceed okay so if there is no doubt we'll proceed so now uh, on screen you are observing uh, one picture right can somebody guess what is it is there any guess what exactly it is put in chat box next lecture uh, today may be at uh, 2 or 1 pm we have one more lecture again there we have to discuss uh, these things but before that you can say food for thought 
सेंट्रलाइज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके वेरी गुड एनीबडी एल्स नो सो गौरव यू आर राइट सेंट्रलाइज पार्शली बट आई आई वुड से डिसेंट्रलाइज स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन से डिसेंट्रलाइज वन बॉस इज देयर एंड ही डिसेंट्रलाइज हिज वर्क ही अपॉइंटेड टू पीपल बिलो हिम अगेन दैट पर्सन बिलो ही अपॉइंटेड टू पीपल एंड अंडर दिस टू पीपल देर आर वेरी बिग ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल so friend uh, it in short you will say it is organization structure okay so this is a organization structure so friend what is exact meaning of organization structure it is a framework within which it is a framework right within which an organization arranges its line of authorities and communication and allocated rights and duties what is it it is a line of authorities you can see uh, here one person is there below that one man one woman right below that next uh, man there is again one woman and one man and below uh, uh, the, uh, them again group of people up right so this is the organization structure getting so next lecture we are going to discuss again our in depth types of uh, organization structure what are the uh, this whatever structure you are observing so again what is the span and level what is narrow span wide span that we are going to discuss so please put your number in chat box those who forgotten those who are not listening already we have taken attendance but if anybody missed put your uh, roll number there and uh, quit the meeting do not put twice thrice put number once only quit the meeting if you have done 